yes, finally, it's about time that I got around to start reviewing the original trilogy of Star Wars. I did the prequel trilogy, they're all still up on my channel right now if you want to check those videos out. But right now, let's talk about some real Star Wars. I want to start on my review by saying this, I'm not attached to Star Wars, I never watched these films growing up, I'm, I'm not nostalgically connected to anything in these films, so for that reason, I don't really love Star Wars A New Hope. But I do recognise what this film did for sci-fi films, for space dramas and for films in general. I mean, in 1977, these special effects were just revolutionary. I mean, they don't exactly hold up very well. I'm just saying, for the time, they were awesome. People had never seen this stuff in films before. Plus, after watching the prequels, I was so glad to see actual sets and locations used for most of the scenes in this film. Like, seeing them in the middle of an actual desert on Tatooine instead of some green screen room. That was awesome to see. You see, having sets and actually being on location, having actual props and people in actual costumes as droids or big creatures makes you care about it more. And when you can notice CGI, you're like, oh, it's a CGI creation. But if it looks real, it obviously adds more realism to it and you can care about it more. That's what I found with Star Wars anyway. And thinking about that on reflection, it makes me even more pumped for The Force Awakens to see how they've intertwined the practical effects and modern day filmmaking. I cannot wait. But like I said at the start, I don't love A New Hope. As a matter of fact, I think some of the acting in this film feels quite uninspired at times. Don't get me wrong, it is nowhere near as uninspired as Hayden Christensen was as Anakin. I'm just saying, in a lot of the scenes in this film, when the characters are delivering dialogue, the actors just look like they're trying to get through this film. They're like, oh, who knows if this will be a success. Okay, here's my lines. Can I, can I go now, please? Plus, Carrie Fisher to me looked like she was overacting pretty much every single line she gave in the film like she always had like the same facial expression and she she looked like she was trying too hard to be really serious and gritty and like a tough female character like oh grandma turkin I recognise your foul stain just as soon as you came aboard. I probably wasn't able to recreate her exact facial expression, so I do apologise for that, but I'm just saying, Carrie Fisher looked like she was trying too hard, and most of the acting just feels a little bit uninspired at times, and I just guess I don't have the nostalgia to look past that, but that's just me. But apart from that, A New Hope does have a lot to like about it. There's the characters, they're all likeable, especially Han Solo and Chewbacca, who doesn't love those guys? I mean, the set pieces are really good, the locations are great. Lots of iconic moments in the Star Wars franchise as well, like the part where Luke's on Tatooine and you have the binary sunset song with the two sunsets and stuff like that. I know that's only one of the iconic moments but that's the one that stands out to me the most. Plus A New Hope sets up this original trilogy perfectly, introduces us to the main characters, tells us what's going on in the universe in terms of the rebels fighting the Empire and all that conflict. Plus it tells us what we need to know about Jedi, the Force, the Dark Side and lightsabers without it being confusing whatsoever. So I really enjoy Star Wars a hell of a lot better than the prequels, I just don't love Star Wars. So for that reason I'm going to give Star Wars A New Hope a 4 out to five. I'm probably in the minority of people who think this about Star Wars like not being attached to it but hey I still really like the film that's what matters right. So we're just a little bit over two weeks away from The Force Awakens so this is the first of the original trilogy reviews from me I am going to be reviewing The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi very soon for you guys as well as some Christmas movie reviews I know that's got nothing to do with Star Wars but I'm just telling you my plans for pretty much December I'm gonna do the Star Wars reviews and some Christmas movie reviews if I ask you guys what do you think of Star Wars I know what the general response is going to be so I wanna say what does this film, Star Wars A New Hope, what does this film mean to you? Might sound a little bit too deep, but I want to know what this film means to you. Tell me in the comments below. If you like this stuff and you want to see more of my stuff, be sure to click here to subscribe because i got stuff coming to you guys all the time.